me show you some additional little things here that you could be, uh, you know, could use and be aware of and all that stuff. A lot of times I'm looking at the view, okay, and a certain view here, let's say, uh, you know, one of these views here or, or this view, for instance, and I'm not happy with the orientation. So one thing you could do to a view, notice, I mean, I'm carrying the view here, moving it anywhere I want. I can actually rotate this view using my regular rotate view button that you're used to seeing up here in that transparent toolbar. All I have to do is highlight the frame, click the rotate, and I'm able now to rotate this view in any orientation I want. Notice when I clicked on the view, I also get this additional little dialog that pops up for, you know, the need maybe for entering or inputting some specific angles that I want to, you know, rotate to 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and so on, and it will allow me to preserve that view in that particular orientation. So this is really cool. I mean, this is definitely helpful to kind of reorient views that, you know, otherwise you thought you might have gotten stuck with or, or you would have to delete and then uh, regenerate again. Uh, now, other views also, or other things that you can do with views, is the fact that you could uh, manipulate them uh, in, in a different way. Uh, for instance, a lot of times you look at a view, and let's say the other views weren't available here. Uh, I'm just going to simply go to a, a single model view here. Let's create a single model view in this uh, orientation here. In a single model view, again, notice I have a button for it, model view. Again, it takes me back to that same uh, situation where I'm referencing a file and I click and here's a single model view. So I didn't really ask for that automated, uh, you know, instant three uh, views. When you do a single view, notice what pops up on the side here. This is kind of a, uh, interesting. You might have seen it in other functions also. Uh, you can choose any orientation you want for this single model view. Okay, so you can let's put a preview a check mark here so we can see what we're carrying. And of course, remember you could at any time come in here and scale it if you feel like you know you're not carrying the right scale. So let's say I want one half instead. So here's the uh, view that I want. Okay, uh, in this orient in in this orientation box, you can say, well, you know, I don't want the central front view here. I want maybe to see a right view. Here's a right view. Here's an isometric view. Here's the bottom view. Here's the top view. Okay, so you pick whatever view you want. It also gives you in the orientation box. It gives you the standard views like diametric, trimetric. Uh, here's a custom Chuck's view, for instance. Somebody created this uh, view here. And then once you zero in on the view that you want, you just click it and you have that particular view. And of course, SolidWorks wants to project from that. That's kind of an automated thing. If you want to uh, uh, eliminate that projection behavior, you just you know click OK there and you're good. Okay. So here's a single view that was created in SolidWorks. Again, notice how when I click on it, it always gives me the properties back so I can go back and navigate the properties.